All right, here we go. Smallest hobby boxes in the world. Dexter, season five and six. Um, just I don't know if any of our, um, our view. I almost said followers. Our uh, subscribers watch Dexter, but I actually have an entire. This comes with an entire set of base cards. Um, I didn't think I was actually gonna win one for as cheap as I got this, so I've actually bought another set of base cards. If anybody is interested in buying them. I'm not looking to make money, just looking to make back what I paid for. It's like 10 bucks for the set of uh, 72 base cards. Yeah. So in each hobby box, there's a set of 72 base, two hits, and then two of nine beyond the script, uh, two of nine quotes, and two of nine doomsday. Those are the uh, like the chase sets. Um, those actually go for over 10 bucks on eBay, so I didn't really want to spend that kind of money yet. Maybe it'll go down. These are just the base. Yeah, these hobby boxes are they're not it's kinda of not as climactic. Like this the relics are just in there. There's no like opening up packs or anything like that. Oh, get the hell off me. Sticky tape. Ugh. God damn. Going through these because I don't know how many of you guys actually watch Dexter. There's actually his dad in the show. I met him. Really cool guy. These are some nice cards. This took a long time. I want to say a couple of years between, uh, maybe not that long, but it felt like that long between season four to come out and for season five and six to come out. Oh, there's Bay. Love her. Going through these cards, they're nice looking cards. Alright. Let's see if I can get the chase cards out without spoiling the relic. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna grab these. And I have, keep forgetting to say this in videos. I don't know why. Um, but, and the relic is. I want to say, please don't be one I already have. This looks like one I already have. Nope, it's not. All right, good. It's not. But it is another Lumen and Dexter uh, pants swatch, which isn't bad. I'm actually hoping for, I kind of want an autograph. Michael C. All autographs are ridiculously expensive. There was one that was he actually accidentally signed the back of the card also in addition to the front that went on eBay for I don't know it went well over a hundred bucks so yeah it would be nice if I can get it, an autograph card but knowing me I'd get like the worst character and there it is I got the worst character I did get an autograph card and it's of uh, the Dexter's nanny I virtually. I think I said this to Alex, I virtually guaranteed that I would get, uh, I told him I'd get a one of the worst autographs. I thought I'd get the um, a guy who was in two episodes has an autograph card. Oh, she signed the back also. What the hell? Maria Doyle Kennedy, she was uh, Dexter's son's nanny for like, I don't even know if it was all of season five. So that's a disappointment. These actually do sell on eBay, but they're not, like... And I, I don't know if they... This is weird, because that's... The, the Michael C. Hall card had was autographed on both sides. So maybe I can actually get more money for this one, if I try and sell it. It's green on the front, and then pink on the back. That's actually the first autograph card that I've pulled from a hobby box. Just just plain autograph. I've gotten autograph relics before. These are so... They're over so fast that I want more. Here are the two... What are these? Beyond the script. It's like a, it's a puzzle that you put together. I got two of those. Then there's Doomsday Chase Set. Uh, the Lamb. And then the Lake of Fire. 
Um, pretty universally well known as the worst of the Dexter villains. Personally, in my opinion, probably the worst season they had. Even though I love anything that they did. Dexter's quotes. Hello, Travis. This is the way your world ends. And my bad. I won't, uh... I'm not, I won't even say it in case anybody doesn't want spoilers. Um, but it looks like that. So I did get a sweet relic. It goes, the one I do have is similar to it, but it's not the same. So it's not the same. This was different pants. Actually, it's Lumen's pants are the same. Dexter's are different pair of pants. So I'll take that. And I got a maybe a rare double-sided autograph. Who knows? Um, but if there's anybody out there who watches Dexter that wants the base set for ten bucks, let me know. Um, and if you don't watch Dexter, I suggest it. It's on Netflix. So um, the first four seasons, everyone you ask will say the first four seasons are um, the best. The first four seasons are like some of the best television you'll ever see. I include five in that. I personally, I love five. Um, Six, seven, and eight weren't as great, but I mean, I'm just an unabashed fan of Dexter. So as even when they suck, it, you know, I still in, really enjoy it. So um, check it out if you don't want, if you never watched it. It's one of those shows that, um, that I really loved. Um, never got into uh, Breaking Bad. Never watched um, past the second season. I was just the first season. Everyone says is boring, and I was just I couldn't, I couldn't get past it. So I haven't continued to watch it. Um, that's something that I should do. Um, so that's it for today. Um, unless I get more mail, the next video will be something from the NEW show on, uh, on Friday with Ramey.